Founded in Vancouver, 2002, our United Global Chinese Women's Associations IC Canada is a registered nonprofit and non-political organization in Canada. Our mission is to build a platform for women to integrate into society, to live, to learn, and to work successfully and encourage civil responsibility to benefit the local community and the nation. It has been 17 years since we launched the Outstanding Women and Mothers Award program. Since then, hundreds of female leaders have been honored for their significant contributions to our community. Female leaders from different fields and industries across Canada. The awards include Exceptional Mothers Award, Vancouver's Outstanding Women's Award, BC's Outstanding Women's Award, Canada's Outstanding Women's Award, and the Community Special Contribution Award. Due to the global pandemic and the spread of COVID-19, many people have devoted their time and efforts in supporting the community. Therefore, we added a COVID-19 Outstanding Team and COVID-19 Outstanding Individual Award. This program encourages more and more women to become role models in different fields through their outstanding leadership, sustained dedication, and inspiring achievements. As the ninth Board of Directors of UGCWAC, we will always work hard to contribute to our society and community by empowering more and more women and mothers with children to achieve their goals at work, to live a meaningful life, and we will also promote and exchange cooperation with women's associations in Canada, China, and the U.S. Today, we're very honored to have invited an award candidate with us. Let's hear their story. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? How are you? I'm great. How are good, you today? Good. Doing well. Thank Perfect. you. Yes. Could you please introduce who you are and your occupation? Okay, my name is Jenny Moss. Uh, I live in Vancouver. And I presently work with MAP, Multi-Agency Partnership, where I'm the, the uh, executive coordinator. Mm -hmm. It's a network of agencies, government and non-government, that work to support refugee claimants. Um, wow, that is very meaningful. And so, do you, you know, for this award, what, is there a candidate speech that you have to present to us? Well, I would just like to tell you a little bit about what I've done. Um, okay. For the last 20 years, I've been involved very much in the community, first working at the Canadian Red Cross, where I was a community coordinator. My job mm -hmm. was to bring different communities together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had different advisory groups. Right. And one very strong advisory group was the Chinese advisory group. And mm -hmm. that's where I met Wendy Yuan. Okay. And uh, we worked together to bring the Red Cross and the Chinese community closer together mm -hmm. to make their programs more meaningful. For example, we offered more programs in Mandarin and Cantonese mm -hmm. to enable people, especially newcomers to the country, mm -hmm. to do first aid and to do uh, emergency preparedness. And we also did outreach to help fu raise funds mm -hmm. to support the Red Cross both here and in disasters across the world. Um, since that time, I've been working specifically with migrants and refugees, uh -huh. um, especially those who come to British Columbia, to try and help them connect with, with community and to get the kind of support that they need. As you can imagine, when people come to Canada, right. often don't speak the language, uh -huh. don't know the system, uh -huh. and they are in a hurry to be able to um, complete the necessities of a refugee claim. Uh -huh. They are desperately in need of support. So. Uh -huh. Our organization that I run at the moment has uh, many organizations like mm -hmm. Success, like Immigrant Services Society, Mosaic, mm -hmm. and many other organizations, along with government ministries like Immigration, PBSA. And we work together to try and solve problems mm -hmm. that uh, come up for refugee claimants. So we work collaboratively. And I would say more than anything, my role is always to bring people together, right. to promote dialogue and collaboration. That is wonderful. That's definitely a lot of work that you have done for the community, especially over the course of 20 years. And I guess that sort of answers my next question um, regarding what is your contribution to the community. Maybe you can give us a little more detail regarding the time frame uh, during COVID-19. Ah, right. Yes, it's certainly affected everybody, hasn't it? For and sure. and likewise, our organizations, everything has had to go online. 
So our agencies have had to work with their clients online, mm -hmm. and they've had to teach out um, newcomers to Canada how to use online facilities, mm -hmm. provide them with equipment if needed. Mm -hmm. And we've had to do all our meetings, and including World Refugee Day, which is on June 20th, mm -hmm. which is a massive event for us, normally held at Vancouver Public Library. We've had to take that online. But it was great. We had music and culture and poetry that we shared, and the event was shared by people throughout Canada and a bit further afield as well. So it was very gratifying. But yeah, it's been a very hard time to mm -hmm. try and help people connect with the resources that they need. For sure. It's been tough for everyone, you know, for the past six months or so. Some people have been out of jobs, you know, there were periods of very low economic success for most people. Um, so my next question is, how do you view female leadership and the true values of empowerment and the definition of an outstanding woman? Oh, this is such an important topic, and for especially sure. in the field that I work in where mm -hmm. we're, we're working with newcomers who come to Canada, mm -hmm. who many of them come from communities where women are not given the same kind of um, voice right. and cannot make decisions for themselves or for their families. Mm -hmm. And yet they are the ones with experience, with knowledge, and with very, very important opinions. So our organization tries to support people to represent different communities to come forward to map and voice their concerns and bring us the issues that we need to talk about. And I definitely would support anything that would improve the possibilities of women, not only getting their voices heard, but also being given positions of more decision making and power, both in the nonprofit world, but also in business. I think it's super important. For sure. And I think in the recent decade or two, the issue or topic of women empowerment has been on the rise and trending, and it's definitely made many breakthroughs. And that leads us to our last question. If you're elected for the award, um, will you, do you think you will continue to participate and be involved with the charity activities of the Canadian Chinese Women's Association? For sure. If I'm of use and can be um, useful to the organization, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy to collaborate. I have enjoyed my relationships with uh, many members of, of the Chinese community and many women's organizations, and I would do whatever I possibly could to support it. Perfect. Great. Thank you for your time, Jenny. It Th is a pleasure. Thanks, Jennifer.